plays video, it plays music, you can even look at your photos, plus it has Wi-Fi built in so you can surf the web and download more content. But it's not an iPod. It's the Arco 605 Wi-Fi and it beats the pants off of any other media player we've tested this year. Let's start with the screen. Not even the iPhone can come close to the Arcos's 4.3 inch screen. Its resolution is 800 by 480 pixels, which actually is more resolution than a standard definition television. So it's not quite HD, but it's still really, really good. The video looks amazing on this screen. It's also touch sensitive, so it keeps the interface really clean and simple. It comes with a stylus, but unless you have sort of massive Hulk Hogan sized hands, you're not really gonna need it. You can just use your fingers to control it. Along the right side of the unit, there are these six buttons that help you quickly navigate through things, get you right back up to the home screen, and even let you control the volume right from the front. The Arcos has Wi-Fi built in, which means it's really easy to browse websites or download other content. And when you need to type a URL, an on-screen keyboard just pops up and it's pretty easy to use. It recognizes where you're pressing pretty accurately. One thing is a drag though, and that is you have to pay more for some extras. So if you want a web browser, 30 bucks. You want an internet radio plugin, that's another 20. Or a calendar widget and some games, that's 20 more. You know, they're great functions, but it feels a little bit like Arcos is nickel and diming you here. One cool thing is the Arcos can record TV shows, although you're gonna need either their video dock, which is another $100, or the travel adapter, which is 70. Once you've got the accessories, it's really easy to set up like a TiVo. You just plug it in and use the menus in the channel guide to pick the shows you wanna record. You can also use the Arcos' Wi-Fi connection to download movies from Cinema Now. They cost $10 each and take about an hour to download on a broadband connection. The unit we tested was 30 gigabytes of storage for $300, plus another 50 bucks for the web browser and some of the extras. But we still feel like that's a pretty good deal, especially with the beautiful screen, the great industrial design, and the durability in our testing. That's why it got a nine out of 10 rating in our best of test award. For Wired Magazine, I'm Mark McCluskey.